Hey folks, welcome to Trade Breakdowns for today, 9 November 2023. Um, had two break-evens in the London Open, just couldn't get it going, um, and then took a just a penny in order that I had um, that I gave for the members afterwards. Uh, that triggered in around New York Stock Exchange for a nice little 40 pip move. So let's have a look at it. Before we get into it, just make sure if you can, give it a like, subscribe, really does help. Okay, here's the charts. Um, where we're at on the start, right? We had, um, this is where I came to the charts or when I started the stream, basically. And this was 7.30, this one, this candle had just closed and this was 7.30 a.m. UK time. So then we had our reference candle to form and it kind of threw me. Um, what I was expecting, just to keep this video short, I was I was uncomfortable taking buys after up in this area. I want I really wanted to see price sort of come down and and sweep the Asian low, or even like be able to push down lower and and then be able to look for those buys. Um, so I had a selling bias, and that was just a crap bias to have for a day like today. Um, anyway, so I'll show you like where I kind of was going. I'll go to the five minute chart right here. On the five minute chart, we had, um, let me just go all the way to like the last five minutes before London open. Okay, so price is sort of drifting, giving us time to do plenty. And then we had, oh, that was not the one I wanted to do, damn it. Okay, so this is this is bef like five minutes to go before um, London open. So this candle just closed at seven, see the, the time down here, 7.55. This one closed at 7.55. So this was the open of this 30 minute candle. So if I just draw across here, you can imagine what this candle was looking like on the 30 minute time frame. It opened here and five minutes ago, we were still here. So the candle was looking like this. So it was really giving me nothing to go by. So at that stage, I'd kind of set myself up for thinking, yep, you know, there's not really a strong 30 minute candle look at the, it will be good to take these, like maybe sweep the high here and then look for those cells to come and sweep the Asian low and then beyond. Um, and then the next five minute candle happened, which kind of just sucked because we just pushed everything up. And now the 30 minute candle kind of gave me two minds because now it was looking, it was looking like a healthy, strong 30 minute candle. But in the last five minutes, I'd already sort of set myself up for a cell bias. Um, it was, would have been nice as well if this one had closed as like a rejection candle because then we would have had a lovely little um, resistance formed. Anyway, so still held onto that selling bias. So what I needed to have was just a just like a rejection candle or something, resistance candle formed. Then I was going to trigger into it. So next five minutes, okay, you can see this one closed. Um, nice little bearish resistance candle sweeping like these highs over here to the left thinking that now, you know what, if we can just, um, if we can just pause for a little bit, accumulate some orders like this, like a candle like this one, that'd be great. Then if we were wicking above it, wicking above it, and then starting to push down, then that would be, that would just be prime to get in. So the candle with the next one, it wicked up and then started pushing down. Like this is pretty quick on this five minute when I just replay the whole candle, but this, there was it was sort of hesitating here, hesitating here, and then flipping. So as it was as it was flipping, um, jumped into it. So pretty happy with the entry. Pretty happy with this thinking that you know when this candle closed, I thought I was onto a good thing. So I didn't do anything with the um, I didn't secure anything. I was really looking for it just to keep on going down. I did move it to break even though, um, without taking anything, and then price just came right back up and took out for um, break even. So that sucked. Um, it was 20 pitch in profit, then nothing. Then price just meandered around for a bit. Then we got another last strong push. And I thought, okay, well, maybe it's just going for a second grab. And then if we can see the same thing, if I can see a resistance form, then I'll, I'll just take it. So here's the resistance candle. Oh, no, not that one. That's a little doji. Uh, not this one either. This one here, as it wicked up and then started pushing down. I was I was taking this as as a rejection candle. So I jumped in as it was sort of breaking these lows. 
and then thought this time, this time we should be on for a good one. Uh, one minutes at this time was looking like a little, um, had, uh, no, it wasn't one minute. Was it three minutes? Three minutes. There we go. Three minute. It was looking, you know, that's kind of a nice little confirmation that a resistance had, had formed and we should now clear the pathway to go down. So going to the five minute. Okay. Next one price pushed down was looking all good again was up again like 20 pips and then move stops to break even and then price just came right back <laughs> and second break even for the for the day so after that that was pretty much my day done i ended the stream on youtube then for the members gave the ideas um so i was looking for uh, buys if we could have pushed all the way down I know this seems like crazy If we, and I said it, was, it would be pretty crazy if it gets all the way down here but I'd be looking to take buys um, from down here and then also uh, the other idea was if we could actually break through here um, then I'd be looking to price to push down so let me just bring up the old discord um and this is, oh, and then the last idea. And the last idea was taking a rejection off of this point over here, which was um, if we look at, let's keep your eyes on this purple and green box. This is the only one that worked out today. They actually got profit. But that purple and green box was, um, it's this area over here. So you can see like, just looks really nice. If I just draw something across here. So we've got lovely little, lovely little rejections all the way across here okay so rejection wicks more over here rejection wick little wick high on the three minute it's even better okay this candle here is a liquidity candle so i thought that first time touching here again you're good for a cowboy entry just take 40 pips back down to this kind of structure over here so that was the idea given you can see down over here on the Discord. Okay, this is the one. Cowboy entry, so it's a pending order. Um, don't let it be a loss if it moves more than 20 pips, but look for take from entry from 15337.1. Um, take profit 15296.1. Stop loss up here, like 30 pips stop loss. Because pending order, stop losses are going to be a bit wider on just blind pending orders. Um, all right, so let's have a little peek at that then. Uh, the other ideas, you can see that where the other ideas were. So... Uh, 9 November, so this was the first one. First break is dangerous. This one here, if you can get up there, the cowboy entry. And then this one here, if, you, if I managed to get down there, look for longs. Um, the only one that triggered, oh, this one at, at the time when it triggered. Nice, beautiful just entry. Price pushed down with New York Stock Exchange volume. Um, close that. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, so... The rest of the session was just people that took longs. Well done. Better than me today. Because it just kept them going up and up and up and up and up. Really tough one to, to watch when you've got a bearish bias. Well, uh, you're looking for sales before the buys. Really tough one to watch. Really, um, really tough day. So then um, there was a nice little entry here with this one pick up liquidity. Okay. That was a potential trade. Okay. Liquidity candle coming down to first structure. Um, but then I had my pending order over here and then price. Okay. Where stock exchange, New York stock exchange is coming up. This one oh, triggered just before New York stock exchange. Many ended the round for a little bit. And then this here is a stock exchange open. Okay. And then price just did a quick one. Boom. Like that one took profit. Um, and then the rest is history. Then we saw the rally. I'll just talk about this little rally again. So um, I believe, I believe what's happening around this time, you can see the time it started uh, rallying, like 3.35 an hour after the um, industry open, uh, stock exchange open, we can see there was a headline more or less around the same time talking about this war. So over here, this one, okay, White House. Israel will begin to implement four-hour pauses in northern Gaza each day. So this is a de-escalation event. 
So when they're de-escalating or talking about like having four hour pauses just to like help, you know, humanitarian aid and things like that, that's actually, um, that's actually de-escalation. So we know that how the stock market reacts to war news. So you saw they love that news. You can see like right, right when that report came out, we accumulated and then the headline came out and it's just been bullish, 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 bullish all the way until then. So, um, Thorsten, you're watching this one. Great. Well done, mate. You took the sales and then you took the buys for 56 pips. So excellent work, mate. Cool. All right. Well, that's the breakdowns for today. Um, you know, miserable, miserable London open for me, but then pen in order, no stress on that one. Wasn't even watching it, just sit on the couch. So, all right. Well, I will see you guys for a Friday session, last day of the week. Keep your risk low. Okay. And good luck. See you then.